Now, if you go on the Eurostar, you might be a little confused if you look out the window and see what appears to be beehives along the trackside from time to time. Well, don't be confused. They're beehives. They are. It's because staff have set up what they now call the honey club. They have ten hives on the embankments near Ashford, and the honey they produce is being used in some of the desserts served on board the trains. Well, our reporter Amanda Acas is there for us now. And Amanda, you could say they're enjoying sweet success. <laughs> yes, they are indeed. And they say they really enjoy doing this because it's a really sociable way of spending lots of time outdoors, helping the bees and also getting to eat lots of honey. As for the bees themselves, well, I'm told they're very happy about living down by the railway tracks because all the overgrown embankments mean there are lots of wildflowers to produce the nectar they need. Eurostar trains might be speeding past just a stone's throw from the hives. But for these beekeepers, making honey is a world away from their daily lives running the high-speed train service. Driver Alan Brooks came up with the idea. A vast um, contrast to the day job. Um, I, uh, yeah, it's great to get the fresh air. Um, yeah, just when the bees get feisty, it can be a bit uh, challenging. But um, yeah, it's good, relaxing. What are they like when they're challenging? <laughs> they get a bit stingy. <laughs> Each of these hives are home to 40,000 bees, which means there are nearly half a million living here on the side of the railway tracks near Mersham. Each individual bee can travel for up to three miles, looking for nectar to make honey. Alan and his colleagues, drivers, engineers and office staff set up the Honey Club two years ago. So far this year, they've collected 36 kilos. Well, this is the um, honey we uh, took from the hives this morning. We took the frames out, brought them down here to um, do the extraction uh, with our centrifuge. We put the um, frames in there, and this is the sort of end product you get at the end, so there's a good sense of satisfaction. Now this honey is being used by Eurostar's catering team to make desserts served to customers on board using recipes created by the celebrity chef, Raymond Blanc. Here we've got a pistachio parfait. It's made with uh, our own uh, honey. I think uh, it is uh, quite floral, uh, but I think it really works well, for example, in this desert, because you don't want something too uh, overpowering, like uh, with the forest uh, flavor, for example, and I think it's just perfect. So voila. A taste of Kent on the fast train to France. Well, there is a real buzz around beekeeping at the moment. The British Beekeeping Association say they've attracted thousands of new members in the past few years over fears about the decline of the worldwide population of bees. So the Honey Club aren't the only one. There are thousands of other people learning how to care for their own hives and producing lots of very local honey. Oh, great, Amanda, thank you. Good to know they're doing their bit. And didn't she look glamorous in her <laughs> beekeeping outfit? <laughs> we were very impressed. <laughs>